Difference between adverse selection and moral hazard. Adverse selection and moral hazard are two important concepts in the field of economics and insurance. Adverse selection refers to the situation where buyers and sellers have asymmetric information, leading to an inefficient market outcome. Moral hazard, on the other hand, refers to the situation where one party is insulated from the risks and consequences of their actions, leading to irresponsible behavior. Understanding the difference between these two concepts is crucial for businesses, as they can have a significant impact on the functioning of markets and the behavior of individuals and organizations. In this video, we will explore the key differences between adverse selection and moral hazard, and discuss how they can affect the performance of markets and the behavior of individuals and organizations. 12 Differences Between Adverse Selection and Moral Hazard 1. Definition Adverse selection refers to the situation where buyers and sellers have asymmetric information, while moral hazard refers to the situation where one party is insulated from the risks and consequences of their actions. 2. Asymmetric information Adverse selection is caused by asymmetric information, while moral hazard is caused by a lack of incentives for parties to act responsibly. 3. A market outcomes Adverse selection leads to an inefficient market outcome, while moral hazard leads to irresponsible behavior. 4. Timing Adverse selection typically occurs before a transaction takes place, while moral hazard typically occurs after a transaction has taken place. 5. Impact on prices Adverse selection leads to higher prices, while moral hazard leads to lower prices. 6. Impact on quality Adverse selection leads to lower quality goods and services, while moral hazard leads to higher quality goods and services. 7. Impact on quantity Adverse selection leads to a reduction in the quantity of goods and services supplied, while moral hazard leads to an increase in the quantity of goods and services supplied. 8. Impact on efficiency Adverse selection leads to market inefficiencies, while moral hazard leads to market inefficiencies. 9. Impact on risks Adverse selection leads to increased risks for one party, while moral hazard leads to increased risks for both parties. 10. Impact on insurance Adverse selection can lead to problems in the insurance market, while moral hazard can lead to problems in the insurance market. 11. Impact on investment Adverse selection can lead to reduced investment, while moral hazard can lead to increased investment. 12. Impact on regulation Adverse selection can lead to increased regulation, while moral hazard can lead to decreased regulation. In conclusion, adverse selection and moral hazard are two important concepts in the field of economics and insurance. Adverse selection refers to the situation where buyers and sellers have asymmetric information, leading to an inefficient market outcome, while moral hazard refers to the situation where one party is insulated from the risks and consequences of their actions, leading to irresponsible behavior. Both concepts can have a significant impact on the functioning of markets and the behavior of individuals and organizations. Understanding the key differences between adverse selection and moral hazard can help businesses to identify and mitigate the potential negative effects of these concepts on the performance of markets and the behavior of individuals and organizations. Hope you liked our video, please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel to keep us motivated.